line. I know you. That's who I know. So anything past that, we don't see. But if we cut from their from from their IP address, we don't use them anymore. They just pop up somewhere else. Yeah. They just come up somewhere else. So the only way to control affiliates is to have a one-on-one. That I hire you as an I, you're an affiliate company, and I I say I want you to market our product. You have affiliates, but you have a one-on-one relationship. There's no downline. There's no scumbags underneath. I don't know how it is today. We really don't use affiliates anymore because they got to the point when we first started with affiliates, it was $16 an order. And within, within a year and a half, it was $40 because they were marketing themselves. And then they, it seemed like almost every month I was hearing, Oh, it's a dollar more. It's a dollar more. It's a dollar more. And if we don't pay it, somebody else will. Mm. So, but they were they were a big scam. They were they just killed us. Yeah, around two thousand seven. Yeah, forty dollars commission around two thousand seven was a really good. Well, a lot of people would have been uh, promoting that. Oh, and and oh. also too, there were whole uh, yep. there were whole websites and groups and clubs of people. You know, and everyone was gossiping behind the scenes. Everybody knew like which ones were the easy targets oh. to go after and which oh. ones. Are, yeah. <laughs> yes, I used to read. About how easy we were. Yeah. Geez, video professor charger. We, our program was a was a an affiliate uh, con man's dream. Yeah. We pay that. We charge a customer six ninety five. So imagine, imagine somebody sees our product, they can try it for six dollars ninety five cents, but I have to pay the affiliate forty dollars for that. So now I pay forty. So I'm upside down. I'm out money. Yeah. But I'm going to get it back when I charge their card because we know how many people will keep it. Well, with affiliates, it was all a scam, so those people didn't keep it. We got when we got hit, it was seven thousand the first month, twelve thousand the next month, and I think within three months we shut it off. Mm. It came at us that fast. It was, it was just unbelievable. Now, with, with your canned so, air, with, with the canned air, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the yes. Ca- now, are, are you going to be going on doing uh, infomercials for this? Probably not, right? I I, I don't know. I, I did one. I did the wrong. I sent the wrong message. Blah blah blah. I'm I've done a few different commercials. This is a different deal. I'm in manufacturing now, right. and this is a see. Learn how to use a computer. I didn't need to explain that to anyone. They knew what that meant. <laughs> They right. had a computer and they didn't know what learning is, but but canless air. What is canless air? So you got to explain. So in a commercial, you really have to explain what's canless air. What will it do? And and it's it's a different animal. But I'm I'm looking. I in fact just this last week I've been reviewing some of the commercials I've done and looking at them because I believe we should be on television. I believe we should be showing our product out there um, well, what so about, people know what it is. Would you ever consider, like, hey, learn how to use an iPhone or learn how to use a smartphone and, and do video? Maybe the smartphone professor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no. I, um, Right. I, I absolutely. I, I did a commercial, just a mock-up commercial. Yeah, who could um, touch it? Like I was some, you know, another learning company, and and it was, uh, you know, you might even learn how to use that that uh, iPhone that you have in your hand uh, type commercial. So I've thought about that. I've thought about learning, you know, a learning site again because there's so much to learn still. There's there's so much need for it. There was a tremendous need for for our learning. That's for sure. Well, if you think about it, like a lot of the people who are like my dad's age, who would remember the learning uh-huh. professor, he would remember yep. the video professor. And then he would yeah. see you. He says, well, because my dad can't use a smartphone. He still has a flip phone. <laughs> you know? And he would Bless love his to. Bless his heart. Yeah, <laughs> well, you got to see him at the gym. 87 years old, man. You got to see this guy at the gym. He's doing the, the chin ups, man, and the dips. This guy's out there. Oh, I, my God. I was so impressed. Uh, I got to tell you. But anyway, that's something to consider. Uh, so anyway, Mr. Yeah, John no. Shearer, oh, Professor John Shearer, uh, thank you so much, my friend. What do you want to leave us with? We've got about a minute to go. I don't know. I'd, I'd, like, your, I, I'd like your listeners to, to go to canlessair.com 
and look at our product and see how great it is because maybe maybe they work for a company maybe they own a company that they shouldn't be buying canned air and they should buy safe canless air from us it's a great product um and that's what i'd like them to do they, they really should get rid of dangerous canned air professor Scherer, thank you so much <laughs> thank you i appreciate talking to you and, you know, if you ever want to get a hold of me, you ever want to see the lawsuit I'm talking about with dangerous canned air, let me know and I'll email it to you. Thank you so much. I think I will do that. Thank yep. you. Yep. Good night. Okay. Thanks. All right. Okay. There we had John Scher, uh, the video professor. You, you know, you got to love it, man. You know, I, I actually, yep. uh, what do you call it, um, uh, posted on my Facebook page. Uh, about a week ago, I was supposed to have John Sher on the show, and I posted it. <laughs> I said, yeah, I just had a chat with the video professor, but there's no one who doesn't know who the video professor is, you know? And uh, <laughs> with this stuff, okay, no joke, I know it was like a big, long commercial, but the thing is, I like the guy. <laughs> the thing is, though, it, it's so true about this, um, it's so true about the people being addicted, especially these street people out there, because these, these are cheap things to get high on. They get addicted to it, and it fries their brain. If you've ever seen a guy out there huffing paint and huffing this dust or stuff, man, these are the worst street people that you could see uh, who have the most um, problems, man, You know, because it, it totally uh, makes you lose your mind. you know, And, and it's overwhelmingly addictive. Just like these guys out there, when you see these guys, you know, I can spot them too, man, in the store. When I see these guys, uh, not just Walmart, when you see the people buying this, this huffing, buying the paint, and uh, buying that uh, hand sanitizer to drink, or, or buying a, or three bottles of mouthwash at the dollar store, it is freaking heartbreaking, man, because, you know, that's a guy has got a real, real problem. Anyway, thank you so much, John Shearer, video professor. Uh, See you next week. And now a word from our sponsors. EmailRevealer.com People ask me all the time, Hey, Ed, are you still a private investigator? I sure am. Go to EmailRevealer.com We handle adoption investigations, infidelity investigations where you give us your spouse's email address. We trace it back to online dating websites, catch them cheating online, email tracing, locate or identify somebody from as little as an anonymous email address, summon all your money, back child support. We can find that deadbeat, locate his hidden assets, locate his hidden bank accounts, find his current place of employment and even assist you in obtaining a judgment and recover that judgment for you. EmailRevealer.com, digital forensics, computer forensics, cell phone forensics, recover deleted text messages, create a report that you can use in court. EmailRevealer.com, 800-572-9762. OppermanReport.com. Hey, do you like what you're hearing? Do you like the work that you see us doing here at Opperman Report? You can support that work by becoming a member at OppermanReport.com. And as you have access to over 200 exclusive shows and interviews that you can't find on YouTube or Spreaker or iHeart or iTunes or KYAH, you can't find them anywhere else online, exclusive to our member sections, to our members. Also, too, there's images, videos, documents, court docs, a lot of content there at OppermanReport.com. And it's the memberships that support the Opperman Report and allow us to play these shows for free on Friday nights and Saturday nights on all the stations you hear us on. You can also make a donation at OppermanReport.com. If you want to support the show and become a member, I can give you a discount. I'll give you 13 months for $65 if you email me directly at OppermanReport at gmail.com. And don't forget, you can hear your ad played here on the Opperman Report reach hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people on a daily basis because the show is repeated every day all over the world. Contact me at OppermanReport at gmail.com and I'll give you a good deal on advertising rates. Hey, one more time, I want to thank John Shearer, Professor John Shearer from uh, CanlessAir.com. And maybe we get him to advertise on the show. <laughs> He's like a nice guy, right? He's the kind of guy, if I had a kind of business idea or something like that, I, I would want to contact him. He's a sharp guy for sure. We had a little conversation off the air last week. I taped yesterday with uh, John Dugan. 
uh, who is the um, the guy I had him on before. He's the Palm Beach Sheriff's Department deputy uh, deputy sheriff uh, who took off to Russia uh, because he was being raided down there over his website and his servers and his internet activities down there. And he has this new um, claim where he's claiming that uh, he was given the hard drive from inside of Jeffrey Epstein's uh, Jeffrey Epstein's blackmail hard drive. He came into possession of it. That this uh, Palm Beach police officer who was in charge of the Epstein investigation, uh, Joe Riccari, uh, gave him this hard drive to make a a clone, a copy of it, an image of it, take an image of it. And he did so, and he saved, and he's showing it to this other guy. It, so there's this um, author, true crime author, and filmmaker. What's his name here? I'm talking to him tomorrow. Okay, we're going to get his end of the story, too. So far, I'm not convinced. All right? <laughs> I'm talking with John Dugan, and I'm not convinced. Okay? I'm going to talk to this guy here. seems like a legit guy. Ron Chepesik. Chepesik. Got a host of books, all kinds of books about New York crime. Involved in a few documentary films. Uh, seems to be a legit guy, so we'll see what he has to say. Because supposedly he's seen this video there. And I, I don't know, Dugan could not convince me. I had him on the show once before. I asked him about Epstein. I asked him what he knew about it. He says nothing. You know, now all of a sudden he has all this stuff. So, and also too, I kind of confront him too about his, uh, his uh, involvement with the Russians over there as well. A little bit uh, more than he... Uh, tends to admit so we have a, a big not every week is going to be the video professor okay <laughs> we can't always bring a goal like that the professor that uh, some weeks we have these other topics as well <laughs> so i got this true crime writer coming on tomorrow we got john dugan the uh, uh the guy who escaped out of russia and then i got an hour to fill we'll see what i can fill it with Let's see what comes up next i uh, said so thank you once again so much professor john share the video professor got his new product there the canvas air.com And now, a word from our sponsors. Hey, you, podcast listener. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. Take the blue pill. You wake up in your bed and go back to listening to mundane podcasts that won't challenge your religious beliefs and your so-called truths about reality, the universe, and consciousness. Take the red pill. Subscribe to the Event Horizon podcast, hosted by Mark Anthony Peterson, and he will show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Event Horizon takes a walk into the paranormal with a splash of conspiracy. It's the podcast that would be born if David Icke and the X-Files had a baby. Subscribe to the Event Horizon podcast by Mark Anthony Peterson on Spreaker iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, CastBox, Stitcher, or any of your other favorite podcast platforms. Remember, all we are offering is the truth, nothing more. PureSoapFlakes.com 218-568-2525 Have you ever heard of Castile Soap? Pure Soap Flake Company handcrafts fine soap bars, laundry powder, and concentrated soap flakes using organic vegetable oils from their northern Minnesota facility. Bathe your body and wash your clothes with pure soap products that are free of fragrance, GMOs, palm oil, sodium lauryl sulfate, and synthetic additives. Keep it clean, folks. Pure Soap Flake Company products are kind to living creatures and sensitive skin, safe for drains and waterways, and work great in high-efficiency washers and top- and front-loading machines. Order today at PureSoapFlakes.com. Greenhome.com, Amazon.com, or give them a call, 218-568-2525, 218-568-2525. Pure Soap Flake Company is a proud member of the Handcrafted Soap and Cosmetic Guild. Have you ever thought about opening your own mobile card or kiosk business? Maybe the facility you manage could establish new revenue by adding coffee, food, or retail services. Cart King International can be the answer to your needs. Cart King is a North American designer and manufacturer of the finest mobile coffee, food, and retail carts and kiosks. Cart King has been working with clients and corporations across North America for 20 years, providing innovative designs, custom manufacturing, and timely delivery. 
Carts and kiosks are fun, and so are the dozens of designs on our website. Please visit us today at www.cart-king.com or just call us at one 877